I do not think of Malaysians leaving to go overseas uh, as necessarily brain drain. I would say that this is uh, human capital deployment in a more efficient way. The challenge for the Malaysian government and also companies in Malaysia is to how to tap on their network and if suitable, bring them back to occupy strategic positions in different areas in the public as well as private sector. Just, uh, just to add on to that, I mean, I agree 100% with what Cam Meng said. Perhaps we should start a political party together. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you are the president, then I would, I would uh, consider it. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Guys, uh, the, the, the media have uh, the headline for tomorrow. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think. To make Raj's uh, question, which is a great question, uh, short, sharp, and interesting, is, uh, and I'll answer, what would you put money on uh, if you were the education minister or the minister for human resources? Because I think it's a, it's a continuum. So if I was a minister of education, apart from the usual line items that you put, I would put money on, on teacher education. Teacher education. That's, I mean, we've done, the roadmap on, on curriculum, we've done it on, on uh, higher HOTS, higher order, or what is it? Uh, thinking skills. But the key factor is who's teaching. So I would go heavy on teacher education. Um, and on human resources, which is the continuum, the lifelong learning aspect of it, I would go heavy on, um, on credentialing in particular micro-credentialing and, and uh, things which are quicker. That means once you're out of the formal setting, uh, really looking for nimble, quick upgrading of skills. And, and we are doing that to some extent with HRDF and all that, not enough. And I think that's really going to be a game changer for, for the next 10 to 20 years.